for those of you who follow Ed Ting on YouTube, I think you'll agree he gives out some really great advice when it comes to telescopes, uh, mounts, uh, astrophotography and all related accessories. And so when he recommends and really likes a telescope mount, then you pay attention because he really does know his stuff. And so what mount is he referring to? It is the SV Bunny SV225T uh, tripod and mount and this is a, an AZ setup which I'll come on to shortly but first of all uh, one of the bits of advice that I give and you often hear at astronomy clubs is when it comes to astronomy get the best mount that you can afford and then get a telescope suitable to fit because often uh, you, if you well, a lot of you know the cheap uh, telescopes. They they come with mounts that are not really suitable, and you do get a very uh, wobbly image. So get the best mount that you can possibly afford. And something that Ed does a lot in his videos, he reviews what he calls junk telescopes, very cheap ones that he has at like local clubs or people donate or even give to him, and he reviews them, and he tries them out, and he improves them in one way where the result before was all blurry but now it's reasonably clear. He, he hasn't changed the eyepiece or added a filter or done any collimation or anything like that. He simply put it on a sturdy mount. No point in having a, a very high quality telescope even if the mount is so unsturdy you're gonna, the image is going to wobble about and not going to see anything. And so all of these what he calls junk scopes he puts them on a suitable tripod and the image is then transformed. And so what we'll do now is we'll just have a little look at the specifications of this mount. And starting off with the legs, as you can see, they are a very sturdy magnesium alloy, whereas some cheap EQ1 and Altazimuth legs, they're more that thin aluminium and you can almost bend the mount it's not very sturdy at all the, the weight for the legs is around about two and a quarter kilograms and it's supposed to uh, with the head uh, accept uh, telescopes and, and spotting scopes up to about uh, 10 kilograms and uh, the head screws in with a three uh, eighth inch uh, screw and so this is uh, what you call an alt azimuth mount, so up, down, left, right, and you can see in the images the slow motion controls. And these are claimed as being very, very minimal backlash. And what do we mean by backlash? You know, what it's like with some uh, cheaper tripods, especially ones le less than £100, you, you, you get something in view, you let go, and then it like moves, and it's gone out the view and and you're having to reset again and what you have to do is maybe put the telescope above what you're looking at then you, when you let go you know it's going to just drop down again and that's you know an extreme bad, uh, bad case of backlash and so should should make it much more easier to use and the the head itself is comes in about three and a half kilograms and so with with the legs being two and a quarter kilograms yeah it is a very sturdy tripod the, the images that you see uh, will show it in the lower position if you want to sit down or you can uh, for most adults uh, stand up and use it and so uh, it should be accept, you know, be able to accept telescopes up to about 10 kilograms so Many of the modern Mac suit softs uh, from Acuta and Skywatch and, and Newtonians, I would say, up to about um, six inch. Uh, maybe you could go to eight inch, but if you start adding on uh, extra, maybe two inch eyepieces and, and a camera setup, it, it may uh, affect the stability, but it should be fine for most amateur telescopes. You'll notice that it is a, a dovetail mount fit in the standard, what we call Vixen style, and so most telescopes that have a dovetail. Uh, such as many of the acute uh, Max Dutzos that I've uh, reviewed recently will be absolutely fine with this setup. And uh, with it being an alt azimuth mount, it will be perfect for uh, terrestrial use and you know long distance terrestrial and also maybe looking at ships at sea. Again, uh, for, so perfect with if teamed up with maybe a short tube refractor or one of the 
short, shorter tube uh, max suits of Cassegrains. Uh, and so that's just a, a quick look at this uh, SV Bonnet SV 225T mount and, and tripod link to purchase in the description. You are actually supporting our channel by doing so. It is an affiliate link. Uh, uh, there may be more uh, reviews similar to this coming up in the near future. So thanks again and I shall see you next time.